Beyond being one of my personal favorites, the F-22 is the world's premier fifth generation stealth fighter aircraft. And while no US civilian will ever fly in this jet because it only has one seat, I have the unique opportunity to work with the United States F-22 demo team to show you what makes this jet so incredible. I'm Major Paul Loco Lopez, a member of the 2019 F-22 Raptor demonstration. The F-22 Raptor behind me is America's premier air dominance fighter. It's a multi-role fighter capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Some of the things that the Raptor is known for are our stealth capability, as well as our maneuverability that we get a chance to showcase each week at air shows, as well as the sensor integration and fusion. I'm Master Sergeant Emmanuel Knowlton, F-22 Demonstration Team Superintendent and the voice of the F-22 Raptor. Being the voice of the F-22 Raptor, I give a voice to the actual aircraft while Major Lopez is doing his maneuvers in the sky. The aircraft weighs about 60,000 pounds and it can put out about 70,000 pounds of thrust. So each engine can put out 35,000 pounds. That's how we're able to actually do a lot of the maneuver that we're doing. So when you see Major Lopez uh, flipping the aircraft through the vertical and just doing crazy maneuvers with the aircraft, we're allowed to do that because again, 70,000 pounds of thrust being put out and the aircraft weighs about 60,000 pounds. The aircraft can go up to about 60,000 feet in the air um, on one tank of gas with, uh, with both of its uh, external tanks. It can go about 1,800 miles. So the aircraft can go to speeds at Mach 2 that is uh, two times the speed of sound. So what you can do in a regular car at 60 miles an hour is about a mile a minute. Uh, we can do 20 miles a minute. The F-22 contains the first widespread use of thrust vectoring to improve maneuverability. In most jets, thrust comes straight out of the exhaust, but in the F-22 there are vectoring nozzles which can pivot up and down up to 24 degrees, giving it a vast amount of maneuverability compared to most jets. So when you're actually pulling maneuvers, the thrust is being vectored in either direction to help the aircraft pitch up or down. When you show up the first day to fly, you know, the jitters don't stop to see like they grow exponentially. And because this is your first time that you're gonna fly this multi-million dollar Premier Dominus fighter by yourself. So I definitely want to give a shout out to the world-class maintainers, the professional men and women airmen that service fix and maintain these jets because without them, we would not be able to showcase American air power. My name is Second Lieutenant Sam Eckert, and I serve as the public affairs officer for the world's only F-22 Raptor demonstration. It's my job to handle all of the photo, video, and run the social media accounts that we have for our team. Now we have thousands and thousands of fans that love the Raptor all over the world, so being able to provide them a behind the scenes look on what we do day in and day out is just an incredible opportunity for me to engage with those prospective pilots and people who dream of one day becoming a Raptor pilot. Give them tips and tricks, give them that exclusive look of what the Raptor can do. It's 
beyond impressive how much knowledge and skill it takes to maintain, train in, and fly an F-22 Raptor. If you've ever considered the Air Force track towards becoming a professional pilot, I'll be seriously jealous to see you flying solo and one of these amazing birds.